really neat old hatchet. And it's got rivets in the blade. It's very rusted, very pitted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead on and we're going to restore this old hatchet. Which means that we'll clean all this rust off of here and get it nice and shiny. I'm going to knock down some of this vent section right here. And, uh, and make it back to where it is. But the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to go ahead and trim this, uh, trim this piece of wood right here off of the fucking top before I take my handle off. <laughs> Got this nice and all trimmed down and everything. I'm gonna go ahead on and take the blade off. is off you're gonna take the handle and just kind of set that off to the side and we'll come back to that part later now I'm gonna go ahead on and I'm gonna fucking uh trim I'm gonna go ahead on and clean this blade up and get it all nice and shiny and everything again I'm gonna do that with a flapper desk on an angle grinder
back's gonna be beat up a whole lot more than the front. So I'm gonna go ahead on that switch discs.
Now, you're starting to get on down into these pits and stuff like that. Get them out the best we can. If you can already see, there's a big difference. It's starting to get smooth and shiny again and stuff like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and start trying to work on the back of it. to it here in a couple of minutes.
I'm gonna switch it up now. Knock some of these scratch marks off here from that fucking uh, flapper bit. We'll use a palm sander.
Take some real fine grit paper, some 1500 grit. Buff it up a little bit. Mother's aluminum polish, and I know it says aluminum polish, but and that's steel, but it don't matter. I'm gonna first start it off with a little bit of steel wool. Get it all down there. Fuck it. Right here, this could take a while depending on how clean you want to get it, how nice you want to get it, how much shine you want on your shit. You can either uh, go for the rustic look and let it lightly rust and then put some oil on it, or you can put some fucking gun blowing on it, or you can polish it up and get it shiny. In this video, I'm showing you how to make rusted metal shiny. That's what we're doing in this video. Now I take my rag and wipe it off. Look at this black shit coming off here. I'm gonna fucking clean it all up. I'll probably polish it some more after I get the handle back on it and everything. Before we got the finished product. But I'm looking at it now and getting this just nice and smooth. So right now, I'm going to go ahead on and uh, start setting up to get the handle back on. Alright, so now I got me some exterior ultimate tight bond glue waterproof. What I'm going to do with that is, I'm going to put some glue inside of this fucking handle. All up in this motherfucker, being liberal. I'm not skipping on the glue. If it can be drip everywhere or whatever, it don't fucking matter. You can wipe that shit up. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and insert the fucking blade and the handle back together like that. Just like that. Now, 
take my rag and I'll wipe the glue off this bitch. like that. Now, I'm going to stick some more glue in here. And remember I said I'm going to keep them little pieces of wood and shit. I'm going to push them back down in there just to fill shit up. Up in the front. I'm going to take this little piece right here, put it back. So all the pieces whipped in, in there. I'm going to take my hatchet like this. And beat it down on the floor. You can't see what I'm doing. But I want to fucking beat it down in a way that a little bit of the fucking wood comes back up over the top of it. I'm going to show you why here in a second. Now, I'm going to wipe all this shit back off of here. Alright, now, I've got a wedge. A hammer wedge. It looks like that. I'm going to go ahead on and put him right there. I'm going to tap that in. That's right. And I know this handle was broken and in bad shape. But it's original to the piece. And it's handmade. And because it's like that, it gives me enough reason to like it. Trust me, I like it. So now I'm going to go ahead on and let it sit here for a minute. Let the glue kind of fucking get a little sticky. And I will resume the video here in a minute. Alright. So I got my last little piece of wood that I fucking saved. I put some glue in there. I'm just going to tap that shit right on down in there like that. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of it out like that. Alright. Now. Here's the cool part. I'm going to put some fucking. Some uh glue. I'm going to smudge it down in all the cracks, right? Just like that. I'll take my finger and work it all down in there nice. Alright. Alright. Now, I'm just going to take my rag and knock the excess off. I'm not going to wipe a lot of it off, but just the excess of it off till it looks like that. Alright, now I'm going to take my fucking flapper wheel, I'm going to grind all that shit down flat, and what's going to be, what the cool part is going to be, is that the fucking, the, the sawdust is going to get mixed down inside the glue, and it's going to look like it was always meant to be there like that. Nice and smooth. It's all tied in. I'm going to wipe that off, right? Now, now that we have got to this point, I'm going to go ahead on. I can either do a couple of things. 
one, I can put some fucking linseed oil on the handle, which is going to darken it. So I don't really want to do that. Another thing I can do is I can take a piece of wood, like this, the wood on this buck knife right here, and I can rub it. When I rub that wood on there with another piece of wood, that's going to give it a nice, that's going to close up all the fucking. I can even do it with the brass piece. See what's happening? Just pushing every fucking thing down, giving the fucking wood on the handle a shine. And I'm not having to put no wax, no lancing oil, no anybody. What's that? See that shine? I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and shine this motherfucker like that. I'm rubbing it out. Wood to wood, brass to wood, it's going to fucking matter. That's right. Residue to glue off everywhere. Now, this is what we're left with. You remember what it looked like? That's what we got now. And look at that fucking hole right there. It's fucking all nice and smooth. You take some of this fucking 1500 grit, smooth that shit down like that. Take a piece of wood. I can get a little gloss on that motherfucker. There's your fucking there's your hatchet. That's your redone hatchet right there. Now, I'm gonna keep on going with it. Keep on polishing that fucking blade and every fucking thing when I get a nice shine on it. Then I'll put a little glaze of oil on top of that. And uh and I'll probably make a leather sheath for it. So like I did my tomahawks and shit. I made these handles. I made these leather handles for my tomahawks. Like that. Out of fucking leather and stitched it. So I could put a piece like that on the bottom right down here. Or I could just go ahead on and fucking make me a nice little sheath to carry that with. So that's your fucking pretty much finished. All it needs now is just to polish it all up and everything. Wait for that glue to dry. And uh... If you, if you, you know, gluing it and putting that fucking piece, that hammer shim in there, it's going to make that blade on there permanent. So if you ever, if you're going to go out there, you go out there and you're going to use it heavy and you do break the fucking handle, then you're going to have to take a drill and drill all that fucking wood out of there and fucking take a chisel and a drill and scrape it all out of there. Or you can burn it out and fucking, you know, but it damn sure won't come off. It'll never fly off and hit nobody in the head or none of that shit. So that's your fucking hatchet. You can see your rivets. I'm going to go ahead on there and I'm going to polish all this shit up and get it nice and shiny. Then I'm going to put it on a whetstone and get a nice sharp edge on it. And uh, that's how you restore a heavily rusted, heavy pitted hatchet. So if you like this video, subscribe to Get Go TV. Hit the little notification button and Watch some of our other 300 videos, our house renovation videos. I'm also in the process of making some videos of where I'm taking um, I'm taking knives that are from ancient Rome that have been in the ground for over a thousand years that are heavily rusted and uh, stripping them back down to good metal. And, and some of them can be fixed, some of them can't be fixed. The ones that can be fixed are going to have some pits in them. So we're going to do some experiments with metal epoxy.
because that's one of the only ways that you're going to fill pits and metal. And we're going to sand that down and, you know, we'll see if we can get the same shine, if it's going to blend in with the rest of the metal. I'm making knife scales or handles out of uh, water buffalo horn and buffalo horn. We're using some Damascus steel finger guards on some of them. Uh, I've got a fucking a butcher knife that we will be doing this. This butcher knife right here. And they're going to be doing a couple of other fucking knives and shit as I'll show you right now. This knife right here was in the ground for a thousand years. It's ancient Roman and they got it down to the shine. And uh, this is one of the knife handles or the scales that I've made for it. And it's going to be like that. And I'm going to take a piece of Damascus steel and make a finger guard for it. For that. So a finger guard for it. And then I'm going to put a couple of rivets in it. And um, some epoxy. And then I'm going to take and sand all these fucking tight squared edges off to round. Here's another ancient Roman knife. This one right here cannot be fixed. This one right here. There's a slim chance that I might be able to cut some of that down, but as you can see, the pitting on the edge, you're going to lose some steel like that. So that's one that's going to be maybe a possibility. And I got another one here. Let's see here. There's another knife up there on this uh, that, that we can't. Uh, this is a cool shaped knife, but it can only be always what it's going to be, man. Because look, see how thin it is? You can bend it. And so that's not enough steel there. Not enough thickness of steel there to be able to fucking clean that up. But anything that's got a little bit of thickness like this one did, we can clean that. I can clean that up. So I'm going to be doing some more some cleavers, ancient knives. Tune in and look for the video for where we're going to do this one right here. I have to make the finger guards out of a piece of Damascus steel. I'm going to be restoring this one. And a couple of other knives that are in really bad shape. And uh, a sickle. And some other really rusted stuff. So if you like that video, subscribe to Get Go TV. And hit the little notification bell so you know when I upload another video. Watch some of our other 300 videos on how to do stuff and uh, reviews of things. And some construction videos, renovation videos, and a little bit of something there for everybody. If you got any questions, leave a question in the comment section and I'll make sure that I get back with you each individually with an answer to your question. Y'all have a good day now and good luck with your rust restoring project.